everyone wants to build a PC. So that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna build one in the 600-ish ballpark. Uh, if you guys want something a little cheaper, like $350 to $400, depending on your budget, go ahead and click on the screen here and check out our just, it's cheaper than a console and it's a good way to, you know, get yourself a gaming PC right now. But this one's gonna be a little bit more expensive and fast as hell. So uh, the FX uh, 6300 from AMD, it's $109 right now on sale. Just buy it. It's ridiculous. It's a six core um, and your, your price to performance ratio with this is stupid. I mean, we're talking like these things um, can be almost as fast as a $200 CPU in some games. I mean, you need to couple it with a good graphics card. That's the idea here is that you get, you, you know, you save some money on this one. It's still a six core and it can, you know, do H.264 rendering and that sort of thing pretty quickly, but you get a good graphics card and then you're, you're good to go. Uh, for the motherboard, we're going to use the Gigabyte AM3 Plus um, GA78LMT-USB3. It's a very simple, um, you know, motherboard, all solid state capacitors. We've got a 16-speed, speed, we've got a 16-speed, we've got a 16-speed PCI Express slot and a 1X uh, PCI Express slot, plus, plus, I'm just all over the place. I'm trying to like, get to the post office. It's 4.30, it closes at 5. I've got to do this now. And we've got one PCI slot as well. And that's pass proof, man. Hey, legacy. So there's a lot of options with this one. Um, we also on the back here, let's take a look at the connectors. So you can see there on the back, we've got you know plenty of options with the connectors, USB 3 and uh, gigabit ethernet, of course, and it'll uh, get you gaming. I wouldn't be overclocking too much on this one either, but it's stupid cheap. For the hard drive, I'm really liking the deal right now on the Western Digital one terabyte blue drive. Blue drive is like the consumer drive, it's 7200 RPM. Uh, this one should be just fine. I mean, 64 megabytes of cache and all that. It's, um, it's just really cheap. If you guys want an SSD, um, some 120 gigabyte SSDs can be had very cheaply these days. Um, I saw the uh, Kingston SSD now on sale for like uh, $60 recently. So just keep an eye out for those. For the RAM. Now, since we're using a dedicated graphics card, we do not need like 2133 megahertz uh, memory or anything like that. It's not really gonna make it a, you know, any difference in video games. Maybe one half of a frame per second, maybe. So we're gonna go for 1600 megahertz RAM from ADATA. It's the ADATA XPG. Um, this is the gaming series memory. And uh, you guys can see it here on the screen. I'm not gonna read this ridiculously long model number. Uh, 1600 megahertz cast latency nine. It'll completely get the job done for 50 bucks. Now for the graphics cards, I'm gonna give you guys a couple different options. And you know, you guys can always in the comments, if you have different price points, you know, if you want like a, a stupid 290X, you know, like for stupid speeds or, you know, a 780 Ti, I mean, you can go ahead and spend as much money on the graphics card as you are on the whole rest of the system. And it'll basically be a tricycle uh, with a rocket pack strapped to it, but it'll, it'll be really freaking fast. But, you know, for around $200, you can get a Radeon R9 uh, 280X if you can find it. Those things are gonna be really hard to find right now. If not, the GTX 760 is really fast. So there's a super clock EVGA I've seen online for around 250 bucks. Um, you can get them used for 215 if you wanted to get a used card, but I would, I would check the rating of the seller before you buy a used card, but you can do that. I've, I've done it before and, and had some good luck, but you know, whatever. All right, for the um, power supply EVGA 600B, 600 watts, it's bronze certified, uh, decent components. It's not the best power supply in the world, but it is 80 plus certified um, and it is an EVGA product does have a decent warranty and um, it's $54.99. 600 watts is plenty for this system, so you'll be good to go. For the case, um, the Rosewell, this Rosewell um, Challenger US3, I don't think it's the prettiest case in the world, but it's cheap. It's got USB 3 um, you know, and, and pretty decent reviews. If you want something that's a little bit uh, cleaner looking, check out the Fractal, uh, it's the, the Core 1000, I guess it's just the Fractal Design Core 1000 USB 3. Yes, check out that one. I recommend that one a lot. If you want to spend more money, I mean, you guys can, if you want to spend like a hundred bucks, just let me know and uh, we'll talk about it in the comments. Now there's a lot of different options here. If you guys think you can do better for around the same price, we'll put that in the comments too. Just click on the screen right here. It'll take you to our forum and uh, let's, let's get talking about this stuff, you know? Cause, because screw console. Yeah. You can play your console games on the, on the PC. That's what I do. And, and I curse the screen a lot. I don't know why I do it. I'm a masochist. It's terrible. All right, <laughs> if you guys have any questions, just go ahead and click that stupid link that has been here for a long time. It's not going anywhere, but I am. I gotta get to the post office. I'll see you later.